In today's video, I'm going to compare iClone and Blender and see which one is the best software if you are new to 3D animation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now, like I've mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm, today I'm going to compare Blender and iClone. And the reason I want to compare these two is... First of all, iClone, I believe, is the best software if you want to start out in 3D animation. It is the best software to start out with. Um, and I'll cover a little bit about it later in this video. But I created a video just on that topic. So if you want to go check that out, uh, I'll put a card right here. So you can go watch that video specifically on iClone. And then obviously you have Blender. Because Blender is free, it is a great, um, a lot of people start out their 3D animation journeys with Blender. Okay, so the f today I want to mention five key points that I feel is important that we can look at just to compare the two. Obviously, there's a lot of different things we should look at. Uh, there's big differences between iClone and Blender. And um, again, this video is for those who are starting out. Uh, this is not for people who, who's been animating for a while because at the end of the day, Blender is a more comprehensive software. Um, you, it's more, you know, you can create your real Pixar type movies where iClone is a little bit, um, limited. Okay. So, it is very important just to understand that. So this video is for someone who's starting out. So I know if you're watching um, this video and you are animating for quite a while now, uh, you will say Blender is better and um, you will recommend Blender. And I completely understand it. But um, this is not from a point of view from someone who's been animating for a while. It's for someone who's just starting out. What is the best software if you are starting out? So I want to focus on five key points um, when I look at these two softwares, just so that you know. And um, obviously, like I've mentioned, there's a lot of differences, but these are the five key ones. So the first one is the price. Okay, so iClone isn't free like Blender. Like I've mentioned, Blender is absolutely free. You can just go to the website, you can download it, and you can start working with it. So it is absolutely free. It is a great software. If you don't have the money, <laughs> um, you don't have money for Maya or all of those softwares. Um, so it is just a great, that's why a lot of people start out with um, Blender and then later on move over to Maya or something like that. So Blender is free, but iClone isn't, and iClone also comes with a lot of um, plugins that you also need to purchase, um, extra additional software. So iClone does end up to be quite expensive. Um, so if I, that's the first point. Blender is free, iClone isn't, and it can become quite expensive at the end of the day. Um, so that is the first thing that you will need to consider between the two. That is where Blender is probably much better than iClone. Then the second point is the user interface and the learning curve. Okay, now this for me, especially if you are new to animation, for me this is quite crucial. Is how easy is the software to use and how easy is it to learn the software? Because if if you really struggle to learn a software, especially with animation that is so reliant on being creative, um, if you struggle to learn a software or if you struggle to use a software, then you will lose your creativity very quickly. So um, I'm, I come from a music background, so I've got my own recording studio. And um, I use a recording software, Cubase, um, and the reason I use it is um, I know in the industry, the industry standard is Pro Tools. Everyone, all the large studios use Pro Tools. 
Um, but all the recording softwares do the same things. Um, so they all have compressors, they all have EQs, they all basically you, you can do what you can do in Pro Tools, you can do in Cubase. The difference for me is Cubase's user interface is much easier. Okay. So, um, I know the software in such a way that if I want to do something, I know exactly how to do it and where to find everything. So, um, that is a great thing to have in a software is, is it user friendly and is it easy to learn? Um, is it because, like I say, if it's easy to use, um, there's nothing standing in the way of being creative, but if it's difficult to learn, if it's going to take you a whole year to learn the software, you're going to um, lose interest along the way, especially if you do it in your free time. It feels like there's so much to learn and you're just going to postpone and procrastinate and you're not going to start animating but if the software is very easy to learn you've learned it in a few weeks then you can start animating so for me that is very important and I say this just to lay the foundation for this point between iClone and Blender iClone for me is very easy to learn um, very easy to use the user interface is very well organized it's easy to find everything where with Blender for me Especially as a beginner, I know if you've worked with Blender for quite a while, you'll know everything. So then the user, the user interface becomes easy because you know the software. But that whole process in knowing the software, in learning the software, is so uh, it's much more difficult than iClone. iClone, you can learn it probably in a week, <laughs> to be quite honest. And uh, you can actually learn it yourself. I learned iClone myself. And uh, with Blender, it's kind of impossible to learn it by yourself. You'll have to take online courses or watch a lot of YouTube videos to see how they do things. Um, so the learning curve between Blender and iClone is, um, yeah, it, it is quite a massive difference. iClone is much easier to learn and the interface is also much easier to understand. Um, so for me in this case when it comes to the learning curve and the user interface iClone for me is much better as a beginner. If you want to start out in animation I would recommend iClone. The third point is and this is also quite important um, iClone is real-time rendering and Blender isn't. So what is real-time? Well, real-time is basically uh, what you see in iClone is your end result. So it does have um, pros and cons. The pros is it really helps with your lighting. So what you see is what you get. So you set up your lighting and you you can really set it up so that it looks the way you want it to look. So that is uh, the pro. The con is um, you have to sacrifice on quality. You're not going to get a Pixar quality render um, because it's real time. So it does have to um, compromise. Your computer and your graphics card must compromise to be able to um, handle the 3D graphics that iClone is throwing at it, uh, where Blender um, isn't a real-time render. So what happens is with Blender, if you want to create an animation, um, to render it sometimes, depending on the scene, it can take up to 24 hours per second. Um, some scenes can take quite quite a while to render, uh, depending on the complexity and the lighting and all of that in a scene. But rendering takes very long, and that's why it is a lot more crisp. It looks more realistic. Um, it's much better quality. Um, so that's the difference between iClone and Blender. iClone is real-time, so you don't have that um, perfect 3D quality look um, in, the, in your end render. Uh, but with Blender you do. Um, but then again with Blender, if you do animation, 
you'll probably have to render your animation at a render farm, which will cost you a lot of money, where with iClone, you don't have to. You can render it on your PC. It will also take quite a while, depending on your graphics card, but not as long as with Blender. So another big difference between the two is iClone is a real-time render software, and Blender isn't. Then the fourth one is with Blender, you can do your own modeling and sculpting. You can create your own custom characters. You can create your own um, props and scenes and design it. Where with iClone, you can't. Okay, so iClone is very limited. So if you want to create characters, you'll have to get an extension, which is Character Creator. And even if you get Character Creator, you can't sculpt or mold so how it works is you have a base character and then you've got sliders and you can customize that character okay and then with hair you'll have to maybe um, get or buy hair and clothing from the marketplace so you can't create your own hair you can't create your own um, clothing etc so you'll have to go and purchase that and customize so basically with iClone and Character Creator, you can only customize characters. Where with Blender, you can actually mold and sculpt your own characters and you can create your own scenes. With iClone, you can create your own scenes, but again, you are very limited. You've got your different types of shapes, like you've got um, rectangles, um, cubes, circles, um, walls, floors those type of things and you can ba basically use those shapes to um, build a scene but you are very limited in a way that you can't customize those shapes so you'll have to uh, you can ma make it longer shorter thinner you can do that but you can't maybe um, divide it and then turn it and um, change the shape all of those kind of things. So that is one downside with iClone is you are very limited when it comes to creating your own custom scenes and um, props um, and ca characters. But again, if you are new to animation, that is actually a benefit because to sculpt um, your own characters is an artistic form in itself not anyone or any yeah, not anyone can do that so for me i just go to dash studio i purchase base characters i purchase the clothing i purchase the hair and i can just with a click of a button import it into character creator i can further customize it and at the end of the day my characters are unique um, and i'm pretty happy with the end result um, so it's much easier, again, to create characters. And also with scenes, I just purchase the scenes that I want. I am not a sculptor. Um, so with Blender, um, you can also purchase on websites and import it. So with Blender, you also have that option. Um, but um, that that's another difference. If you want to learn sculpting um, then you won't be able to sculpt inside iClone Blender is then the software for you and then finally my final point and I think this is um, the, the probably the most important one is um, for me between iClone and Blender iClone is beginner friendly now this doesn't mean when, when I say beginner friendly in you probably think oh, it is just like an entry level software. No, you can really create awesome, amazing animations with iClone. Believe me, I've seen some of the users, they create amazing um, animations. So you can really create amazing, awesome looking animations with iClone. Yes, it won't be the same quality as Blender, but as a beginner, you can't go wrong with uh, iClone. So my final point is, like I say, is iClone for me is more beginner friendly. It is easier to learn. It is easier to use the interface. Um, another thing that is great with iClone is the motions. You can purchase motions 
and um, you just drag it onto your character. For instance, a walking motion. To animate a walking motion takes quite some time, so you can just drag a walking motion onto your character, and there your character is walking. So you actually save a lot of time as well, and that's why I say you can actually from day one start to animate. You, you can purchase iClone today. You can drag a character on with a walking motion. Your character is walking, and there is your first animation. Um, it also has lip syncing, so you can just drag a audio recording onto your character, and it will do the lip syncing for you. So you can make your character talk on day one, the day that you've purchased your software. So iClone is, for me, really beginner-friendly, where... Blender, like I say, it is quite difficult to learn. The learning curve is quite hectic. Um, the user interface isn't as simple and easy to understand as iClone. So for me, again, I would say iClone is the best software if you want to start out your journey and 3D, in 3D animation. You can always um, go over to Maya or Blender later on. Because what iClone will do is it will teach you the foundations of 3D animation. So that knowledge that you will learn with iClone, you can then apply um, in other softwares later on. So iClone is a perfect software to start out with. But the one thing that Blender has over iClone is that Blender is free. And the the quality of software, just because Blender is free, doesn't mean it is not good. I mean, the Blender is a top-notch animation software. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it is right up there to Maya and Cinema 4D. Um, so you can really create um, amazing, amazing software. So, and it's free. You you get a high class top notch software for free so that is probably um where i feel the difference is the one is very easy to learn and understand and the other one is free <laughs> so i think that is the two main key points that you can look at um which one is more important are you willing to take the time to learn a software that is free or are you willing to pay for something that is much easier and you can start off animating immediately? I think it boils down to those two components. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've used Blender or iClone. What are the features that you like about the softwares? Um, let's help each other in the comments below. Um, I'm sure there are people watching this video who's undecided, who doesn't know which software to use. So we can help each other by just sharing your ideas and thoughts on the software, why you use Blender or why you use iClone. Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new to animation, I recently launched my new online course, um, Begin Animation, the complete course for complete beginners. So if you are new to animation, you're just starting out, um, that course is for you. Whether you, you want to do 2D or 3D animation, that course will teach you the foundations, the fundamentals of animation. And from there, you'll have the basic knowledge and you can just grow and continue. So in the description below, there's a link. If you are interested, that course will really, really help you. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next week. So remember to hit that subscribe and click on that notif notification bell so that you can get notified when I release my videos every week. So I will see you guys next week. Um, happy animating and God bless.